Hi, in this video we will see how to draw a circle in an animated way. In our previous video we have discussed two important methods of making animation work that is request animation frame and set interval method. We have also seen the use of linear interpolation in animation. Now in this particular video we are going to discuss a circle drawing method. So let me demonstrate you first how we are going to draw a circle in an animated way. As you all know that in our previous video we have discussed that our original end axis or to draw a circle is having 0 radians. Here we have 0 0.5 pi radians. Towards the left it is pi radians and upside it is 1.5 radian and coming back to again original radians it is actually 2 pi radians angle and we also know that by default whatever drawing that we are doing is having or moving your angle clockwise so angle that you are making theta at this location is towards the down and towards the left going in this fashion clockwise fashion so first thing you must note is that we are going to use stroke method to have unfilled circle and to draw a circle we used arc method in arc method we have five parameters x and y coordinate of a center of a circle that is this thing third parameter was the radius how what will be the radius of circle that you are wishing to draw the fourth parameter is the starting angle which is always going to be zero in our case and ending angle of uh, circle is the theta okay so what do we do in our case we will first stroke a, a circle up to only theta degree then we will erase this complete part again we will draw a particular arc of another degree which is greater than the previous one Again we will erase complete canvas. Again we will draw an arc which is having more theta in degree or radians as compared to our previous stroke. And we will keep on doing this, this, this. The larger arc will be drawn again and again across the same path. And this way it will be drawn to the full complete circle. So here our aim is always to increase our ending angle. Ending angle may start from say for example 1 radians then it will go to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and up to it will go up to 2 pi radians. So that is the logic of our code that we are going to see in the next. So this is my code window. Here we have canvas and ctx variables. The radius of circle that I have chosen to 70. Uh, center of the circle cx and cy are 150 and the line width or the stroke width I would like to have is 10 pixel wide stroke that's why I have chosen my line width to 10. The color of a stroke must be blue in our example so that will be stroke style is set to blue. The angle initially is 0. The new angle will be calculated every time when we are updating erasing our canvas and drawing the new one. So we have one function draw circle function. This draw function does only two things clear canvas draw and R to draw circle. So to clear complete canvas we make use of clear rect method from starting of the canvas that is from 0 comma 0 to the canvas dot width that is the complete canvas and the canvas dot height that is the complete height of a canvas. So this is nothing but erasing the content of canvas. Okay and next three lines are used to draw an arc which is a part of a circle. So to start or drawing an arc we have begin path method and to actually make a stroke or to draw we have stroke method. 
In between this, we have an arc method. Arc method will have center of x and center of y coordinates for identifying its center. We have radius variable which are also already initialized as our third parameter. Always we will start drawing at starting angle 0. The angle that we are drawing up to which the arc will be drawn is calculated as a new angle into math.py. Now whatever the animation is there is happening with calculation of this new angle. And from where we are calculating this new angle, this new angle is calculated in another method that is called as go method. You can name any uh, method, for example, update angle method or name of your wish. So this method go is updating your new angle. How it is getting updated? First check this. Initially your angle is zero at here. And for the very first time, your angle will be less than 200. Now, I'll tell you why this value 2 we have chosen. We have chosen this value 2 because your final angle, your final angle is 2 pi. So, I cannot just start with 0, increment to 0 0.5, 1, 1, 1.5 and 2. No, I have taken this 2 component as 200. That means right from 0, coming back to this particular axis, I am taking 200 different steps. Okay, so every time I am increasing this 2. So just because it is having final or ending angle as 2, we have chosen or we have put that value as 200 in our code. So that's why we have 200 over here. We have done 200 division of our complete 360 degree. What do we do inside this? If angle is not reached to up to 200, then we are incrementing our angle. That means from 0, it will increment it to 2 for very first time, then it will 2, 3, 4, 5 and up to go up to 200, one after another. So the new angle that we wish to have is angle into 0 0.01. Now remember we are incrementing from 1 to 200 but actually your angles are not up to 200. They are only up to 2 from 0. So we must multiply this particular 0, 0 to cancel out 0 0.01. Okay. So ultimately two decimal places will be decremented. So initially it was 0. Later on it will be 0.01 later on it will be 0.02 and it will go up to 2.00 so that is the only thing that we are doing in new angle and we are calling request animation frame method to tell browser that we are wishing to perform an animation and that animation is performed in which method in a draw circle method draw circle method is actually responsible for clearing your canvas area and drawing a new r which is a part of a circle and go method is only responsible for updating new angle method which is used inside draw circle method so from here we are calling draw circle method with request animation frame. But from nowhere we are making a call to go method. So outside this function again we call a request animation frame function for drawing a circle. And also we call go method with the help of set interval. Set interval method as I said in my previous video is used to call a particular method for some frequency. So at frequency 60 times in one second, I will write down 1000 divided by 60. This 1000 millisecond equivalents to one second. And in that one millisecond, 1000 millisecond, I'm wishing to call this go method to update my new angle. How many times? 60 times. So, uh, last two line goes like this, request animation frame draw circle and set interval go comma 1000 divided by 60. Let us see the output of this code. Refreshing the page. As you can see, every time system is erasing your canvas and drawing, but 
this erasing and drawing is so fast how much fast it is doing 60 times in a second which is unnoticeable by our eyes so it is erasing and drawing in very speedy manner so you can see an animated circle which is getting drawn with its outline of the stroke let me change the value of set interval and see the difference so instead of this let me do this 10 times in a 1 milli 1000 millisecond that means in a second let us observe this output refreshing as you can see so circle is drawn in very slow manner why because in one second it is calling your erase and go method how much time only 10 times so ultimately it is decreasing the speed another thing or factor that you can change is to have a step size so instead of changing your angle in this small step let me make it fast refreshing as you can see the portion of an arc is updating very fast why because the step size you have changed as you can see the larger larger portion is getting changed uh, let me keep it as a plus one only and see this difference very small small part or small small arc is increasing uh, slowly and steadily to draw a particular circle so in today's video we have seen how to animate or how to draw a circle in an animated way Thank you everyone for watching this video. This is Munira Topia signing out.